quite a few um, basic moves that we use. It started off with our kind of traveling in step, and um, we've talked about a couple of different kinds of little step touch steps. One where the hip is coming straight up into us, and one where it's twisting around in front. We were doing the Turkish one where we're twisting around in front um, to step forward. So think of it like I'm gonna twist my hip and then step down, twist and then step, twist and then step down. Uh, and we're accenting that with our arms. So whichever hip is coming in front, that same arm is kind of pushing out in front. We're not doing like a karate chop, just kind of gently accenting that that hip is going forward. So we would twist, 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 twist. And now to back up a little bit, we're going to do our roll back. So remember our hip drops down in the front and comes up and over like a, like a um, upside down horseshoe. Drops down in the front, over and back. Down in the front, over and back. Down in the front, over and back. So we're going forward with our Turkish step. We're coming back with our roll backs. Then we're going to do some side to side action. Um, when we talked about our hip circles going around us, remember we looked at how we could travel side to side with them and how we can turn in our own personal circle. But right now we're going to travel side to side. We're going to go one, two to the right, one, two to the left. And then we're going to turn our body so that this time when we're going right and left, it's kind of like it's going towards the audience in a way. So one, two to the right is towards our audience. When we're backing up, instead of putting our hands like this and kind of covering our face, we're going to put our hand where it's just to the, the cheek on the opposite side as we back away. Now we're still kind of turned at this sideways angle and we are going to do some hip bumps to turn ourselves around to the front. So remember with our hip bumps, just think about our feet are under our hips. We're kind of shifting out and bumping on each side like we're trying to close the door. But we're starting from here and as we bump, we're going to turn our feet slightly so that our eight bumps take us all the way around. So we should end up here. Um, as we're doing that, we're going to take our arms up and back down. So it would look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we've ended up right here facing forward again. And we're just going to kind of take a moment to get ourselves centered again with a figure eight. And then a shoulder roll. Remember our figure eights are a horizontal eight pattern drawn with our hips right and then left, front to back. And our shoulder roll is where we roll our shoulders back, like when we're shrugging and stretching, but we've got them going at opposite intervals. So they're both going up, back, and down, but they're doing it at the opposite times. And then we would just start back again with our first step, which was our Turkish step coming forward, our little twist step. So we'll throw in a little bit of an intro when we're doing it to music, just a little bit of a bringing our arms up and getting into a position, um, a few little hip drops to kind of get our count on the music, and then we'll be starting off with those steps that we just did. And with this particular song, there's a couple of moments in it where it gets a, the melody gets a little bit more slow and sultry. Even though we could keep going with our same pattern of steps, when it comes to those, we'll do some figure eights and some more shoulder rolls until that picks back up into the, the music that we were used to doing those steps to. Okay, so let's see what it all looks like to me. 